హలో డియర్ గేట్ ఆస్పిరెంట్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు వేదా గేట్ అకాడమీ ఇన్ ద ప్రీవియస్ డిస్కషన్ వీఆర్ డన్ విత్ ట్రాన్స్ఫర్ ఫంక్షన్ పోల్స్ జీరోస్ లిమిటేషన్స్ ఆఫ్ ట్రాన్స్ఫర్ ఫంక్షన్ దోస్ ఆర్ అప్లికబుల్ ఓన్లీ ఫర్ ఎల్టీఐ సిస్టమ్స్ విత్ జీరో ఇనిషియల్ కండిషన్స్ ఫర్ సింగిల్ ఇన్పుట్ అండ్ సింగిల్ అవుట్పుట్ సిస్టమ్స్ మెనీ పాయింట్స్ వీ సార్ అబౌట్ ట్రాన్స్ఫర్ ఫంక్షన్ వాట్ ఇస్ ద యూజ్ ఆఫ్ ట్రాన్స్ఫర్ ఫంక్షన్ బై యూజింగ్ ట్రాన్స్ఫర్ ఫంక్షన్ వీ కెన్ ఫైండ్ ఎనీథింగ్ అబౌట్ ఎ సిస్టమ్ వీ వాంట్ the most important thing to find is a stability that what is stability we will be understand in upcoming chapters and we understood about poles and zeros physical significance of poles and zeros poles and zeros are system natural frequencies uh, if you operate at pole frequency the system will damage or in mathematically if you speak mathematically you can understand uh, output will be infinite if you operate at pole frequency if you operate the system at zeros frequency output will be zero so these things we learned about uh, uh, transfer function poles and zeros uh, system and everything in the previous discussion in the uh, next topic what we are going to discuss is uh, closed loop transfer function and open loop transfer function there is a slight confusion on students in understanding about closed loop system and open loop system and closed loop transfer function and open loop transfer function let's take the heading closed loop and open loop transfer functions yes closed loop come on ma very important closed loop and open loop yes open loop transfer function transfer function yes what is the difference between these two yeah what is a closed loop system closed loop system is a system which is hand feedback we are taking the output to the input side for the purpose of comparison we understood very clearly if we are not taking that output at, to the input side for the purpose of comparison then it is said to be open loop system i'll draw i'll draw so first let me draw open loop system open loop system yes let me draw open loop system open loop in fact control system open loop control system open loop control system yes open loop control system how it looks open loop control system looks like this yeah we designed elevator in open loop model and closed loop model we saw that closed loop model is a accurate model open loop model is a failure yes we taken this one as controller after controller we take an system yes this is controller this is system yeah one thing we learned previously if you remember in control systems uh, uh, loading effect is not considered why because uh, between two systems definitely there is a buffer i told you yes we discussed uh, in control systems loading effect is neglected why because uh, between two cascade connections there will be a buffer there will be ideal buffer now suppose uh, this is one this is controller it is having one function in s domain function means in s domain or it is having some response in time domain simply i can call this one as i can call this one as h1 of t and we call this one as h2 of t h2 of t now in time domain h1 of t must be convoluted with h2 of t but if we convert into s domain this is what my this is h1 of s h1 of s this is h2 of s we understood one point that in frequency domain both will be directly multiplied means these two i'll multiply i'll get some h of s i'll represent with a single box so instead of taking this all open loop system just i'll represent in this very simple way that is this one please observe this is the open loop system simply i am representing it as a system that's it yes and this is r of t this is c of t yeah you might be thinking sir this multiplication of two consecutive blocks is possible if both are in s domain yes sir. those are in s domain we multiplied the representation of input and output we are taking in time domain format in time domain format okay or this system is h1 of t in convolution with h of h2 of t that result we kept here okay so this is open loop system where there is no feedback from output to input we drawn already we, even we understood even we understood come on 
a closed loop system let me draw a closed loop system let me draw closed loop control system closed loop plus closed loop command ma control system closed loop control system in fact uh, if you remember we designed elevator by taking controller uh, system and uh, there will be a feedback element we take an even a comparator yes this is the comparator what we taken this is plus minus comparator means a comparison means subtraction there definitely plus and minus should be there okay yes this is a comparator after that we take an a controller we taken a controller yes let me write here we'll simplify it after writing controller after this we take an a system after this we take an a system in feedback yes what we taken in feedback a transducer yes a transducer we take need not to be necessarily transducer always for that example what we taken uh, we want to convert this mechanical movement of the lift that is fifth floor fourth floor or third floor that we want to convert into electrical signal why because here input is electrical input is electrical signal uh, two electrical signals can be compared two mechanical signals can be compared but not one mechanical with one electrical or one chemical with another electrical it's not possible okay what is this one ma this one is c of t this one is a c of t if you represent in s domain that will be c of uh, yes yes this is what we got so controller is going to have its own response called as controller system response we call that one as some g1 of t g1 of t system is going to have its own system response we call it as g2 of t as both are in cascade and loading effect is not considered but why it is not considered yes there is a buffer between those two i'll i can multiply both in s domain uh, as a g1 a g1 of s into g2 of s g1 of s into g2 of s means uh, two blocks connected in cascade will be multiplied in s domain two blocks connected in cascade in s domain will be multiplied yes sir this is the transducer this is input and output uh, come on let us represent in s domain let us represent in s domain this is r of s we know very well what is r of s r of s is the laplace transform of input signal laplace transform of input signal yes that uh, g1 g2 both we multiply we simply call it as some g of s yes g of s is that the multiplication of g1 of s and g2 of s where g1 of s g1 of s is the function of controller g2 of s is the function of a uh, system both we can multiply in s domain right? because both are in cascade yes and uh, in the feedback we are taking transducer transducer function we will take it as h of s in fact we can take g of s is the transfer function of uh, that a cascade combination yes what we have here suppose i'll i'll represent in time domain even i'll represent in time domain even yes uh, uh, we will write this one as g1 of t it's a response we will write this one as g2 of t yes we will write this one as h of t h of t now in s domain it, it will be g1 of s and g2 of s means uh, that cascade combination transfer function is g of s g1 of s into g2 of s uh, this uh, feedback path transfer function is h of s feedback path transfer function see if you divide this one into two parts it is going to have its own transfer function suppose what is the transfer function of controller means uh, you have taken controller outside and you are giving some input and you are getting the output the ratio of output to input in s domain is called the transfer function of that controller that is going to be g1 of s g1 of s g2 of s and h of s are the individual transfer functions uh, individual transfer functions then what is the overall transfer function of this system that is uh, c of s by r of s here output is yes output is what ma c of s output is c of s come on output is c of s yeah now I, i'll write here i'll write here g of s is is what ma forward path yes what what does it mean by forward path uh, yeah a new term i'm introducing here let's understand about this forward path forward path is a path taken from input to output uh, input to output uh, without touching any path uh, of the diagram twice yes we will be discussing about this forward path once again in uh, uh, signal flow graphs in signal flow graphs we will be discussing once again now come on here forward path 
the path taken from input to output. Yeah, this is the path taken from input to output. Yes, in that part, uh, we are not touching any part of this diagram or this system, uh, not more than once, not more than once. Okay. Some people will say that, sir, I'll go like this. I'll come like this. Again, I'll go. We are touching that G of S and this uh, comparator once again. Therefore, that's no more a forward path. Okay. G of S is forward path transfer function. Forward path, uh, yeah. Forward path transfer function. Let me write it completely. Transfer function. Transfer function. Yes. And H of S is H of S is feedback path. Yes. Feedback path transfer function. H of S is feedback path transfer function. In the feedback path, what we have H of S, that's why it is called as feedback, feedback path transfer function. So this is the feedback from here. Yes, we are feeding back to the input from output set. That's why it is called as feedback. See, understanding this nomenclature is very, very, very important. And this particular one is called as summing point or comparator we already saw. Yeah, let me write here. This is called as what more? Summing point. Summing point or it is also called as what? Comparator. Yes, comparator. Yeah. And what is the feedback we take here? Positive feedback or negative feedback? Negative feedback. Sir, how to recognize? See, the output you are taking from here. Yes, you are taking from here output that is connected to the negative sign. Therefore, here what you are going to get, I told you that you are going to get error. So, error, uh, there are two types of errors. So, in the topic uh, called error analysis or error, we are going to discuss uh, completely, very clearly. Till then, we take this one as error. Actually, it is an uh, actuated error, activating error, actuating error. We are going to see what is that uh, uh, actuating error, what is the difference between error and actuating error. Okay. Yeah. So, this is error. This is error. In time domain, we call it as E of T. In S domain, we write it as E of S. That's very simple, brother. That's very simple. Come on. So this is that elevator what we designed with feedback uh, is uh, modeled in this way in S domain. Why? Uh, because see, uh, again, I'll be explaining. This G of S is, I'll write it here. I'll write it here. G of S is equal to, come on, ma, equal to G1 of S into, come on, ma, G2 of S. G2 of uh, S. Uh, where G1 of S is the transfer function of controller, G2 of S is the transfer function of the system individually. individually. So if you take any system, any simple small system that is going to have its own transfer function. Now here, this is about uh, uh, that uh, conversion of that elevator into this uh, mathematical modeling. Mathematical, see, simply this is called as mathematical modeling. By using uh, S domain, we are modeling that elevator in this format. Now. What we want here, what we want here, two things we want. What is our heading actually? What is our heading? Come on, go back. Let's uh, read our heading. Our heading is uh, yes, uh, oh, closed loop and open loop transfer function. This is open loop system. First, let me tell uh, tell me what is the transfer function? What is the transfer function of this one? What is the transfer function of this one? Yeah, uh, understand here. What is the transfer function of this one? Let me uh, show in S domain first of all. This is R of S. This uh, simply I call it as G of S. Okay. This is C of S. Come on. Tell me the transfer function. Transfer function is equal to Laplace transform of output C of S by R of S V1. Come on. From uh, here in S domain, we can multiply input with system, right? We can multiply input with system. Now tell me what we are going to get. C of S is equal to, come on now. Very simple. It's very simple. R of S into G of S. But you have to remember that. This R of S is a signal, but G of S is uh, G of S belongs to system. One is a uh, input signal, and one is a system case. So the one which belongs to system or depends on system parameters, we are going to represent in box. Okay, uh, I will tell you very simply. If you take uh, some series RLC network, series RLC network, uh, what transfer function if we got if we take voltage across uh, uh, our current we taken, current we taken, what is the transfer function we got C of S by some LCS square uh, plus one something we got uh, series LC in the previous class we taken, yes or not? Uh, so that CES by LCS square plus one must be kept in box, must be kept in box, okay? And that uh, V uh, VI of S and I of S. Uh, this is VA of S and this is I of S. Yeah, let me write here and I'll arrange. I'll, I'll arrange. Okay, 
uh, we got a transfer function in the previous discussion for uh, series lc network uh, if we take current as our output we got like this cs by lc s square plus 1 output by input is equal to transfer function now this one we have to represent like this uh, yeah this is a cs by lc s square plus 1 yes this is uh, v a of s please this is v a of s and this is i of s yeah in this way we have to represent so this one depends on system parameters so yes l and c that's why this is kept in box but this v a of s and i of s are signals that's why we should not keep those in box okay block in fact uh, those boxes are called as blocks yeah now tell me g we take it here in the next one we take in g and h g and h are what system parameters we call it as g and h as what system parameters are functions of system parameters see uh, the transfer function is a cs by l c s square plus one is a function of l and c and s anyhow s is a variable what variable are operator frequency omega s is equal to j omega for ac analysis s is equal to sigma plus j omega or s is equal to zero for dc analysis yes now come on here what is c of s uh, multiply input with uh, uh, transfer function r of s into g of s r of s into g of s now what i want transfer function what is the transfer function output by input take this r of s to this side and what we are going to get from this one transfer function is equal to c of s by r of s is equal to how much we got now we got g of s we got g of s the transfer function of this one now one point here i have to clarify here this g of s is not open loop transfer function yeah yeah you, you have to be very much clear here g of s is not open loop transfer function but g of s is the transfer function of this open loop system yeah let me write that that is very important for me yes that is very important for me come on yeah let me write come on g of s is i'm writing here very important point oh, three star from this one g of s is what is the misconception students are having what the students feel is the transfer function of open loop system is called as open loop transfer function the transfer function of closed loop system is called as closed loop transfer function no brother so do not always take uh, english meaning english meaning what sometimes english meanings will give wrong answer see uh, simply i'll tell you one point uh, we know octa means eight we know octa means eight yes or not yes sir. but in bode plot octave means by two times yes if one is the first frequency omega one octave times of one means uh, omega two that is two not eight octave yeah from english meaning uh, octa means what eight but uh, in bode plot we are going to see octave means by two times by two times that's what i'm saying do not go by decade means anyhow we know 10 yeah decade means 10 uh, english meaning and our control systems bode plot also will say the same thing by 10 times but uh, octave means we know that by eight times from general english uh, uh, language but uh, octa or octave means by two times in control system especially in bode plots okay we are going to see in bode plot that's why do not always rely on english meaning or technical terms are going to have some different meanings at some point of times but not always see uh, some people will misunderstand you rely on english but sometimes at some special cases uh, english meaning will give you a wrong or different answer like here open loop transfer function is not the transfer function of an open loop system okay now let me write here g of s is the transfer function of a transfer function of the given yes open loop open loop control system open loop control system come on g of s is the transfer function of this open loop control system but it is not open loop transfer function we will come again here after completing the closed loop transfer function and open loop transfer functions okay come on here now here let's find first the overall transfer function yeah my my heading is uh, find the overall transfer function of the previous closed loop system what we taken here this is the closed loop system closed loop system yeah 
let's find the overall transfer function of the closed loop system our heading is overall overall transfer function of the of the closed loop system of the closed loop system yes let us draw the diagram once again let us draw the diagram once again yeah we are drawing it observe carefully please observe carefully yes plus minus yes this is g of s come on and this is h of s arrow direction is very important this arrow shows that we are feeding from output to input feedback this is r of s this is c of s yeah what is overall transfer function transfer function is equal to see transfer function means by default overall transfer function okay so in examination you will not mention overall transfer function like that one system is given is asking about transfer function you have to see the ultimate input and ultimate output that's it okay overall transfer function that is equal to what more? c of s by r of s yeah now one very important note point i want to write here that is transfer function must be in terms of system parameters or its functions transfer function yes come on transfer function must be must be in terms of in terms of uh, system parameters system yes parameters means uh, transfer function should not contain any further variable here r of s and c of s are, are the variables and this error e of s is also a variable our transfer function should not contain r of s uh, e of s uh, or c of s or transfer function must contain only g of s and h of s where g of s and h of s are the system for system parameters or functions of system parameters why it is in bracket as it may be a function it may be a function of uh, some parameters uh, of the system that's why we kept uh, in bracket uh, s uh, come on here very simple to understand very simple to understand i want uh, c of s by r of s in terms of g and h in terms of uh, g and h what are the only system parameters available here g and h I want C of S by R of S in terms of G and H. Simply, we conduct a block diagram algebra. Yeah, this is called, these are called as blocks. We are going to apply block diagram algebra. Very simple. See, that's not a uh, big deal to understand block diagram algebra. Now, I will understand in this way. Come on. We want C of S by R of S. What is this one? This one is C of S. What is this one? This one is also C of S. I told you why this is C of S, this is C of S, this is also C of S. Uh, I given an explanation that we are taking that signal for the purpose of measurement. We are not taking it completely. Means uh, suppose if this is 5 amperes of current, we are measuring that 5 amperes with the help of an ammeter that also will do 5 amperes. There is one more ammeter here that is giving 5 amperes. It's not like, uh, sir, we have two different paths uh, in 5 amperes, 2 amperes will go in this direction, 3 amperes will go in this direction or 2.5 in the forward, 2.5 in the feedback. No, it is not dividing. We are not physically taking the signal just to we are taking its value for the purpose of a comparison now you tell me this is c of s this is h of s what this will be c of s into h of s both are both can be multiplied right this is c of s this is h of s i call this one as b of s where b of s is also a signal yes b of s is also a signal why because b of s is a function of h and c where c is a signal yeah b of s is not uh, completely depending on system parameters it depends upon some variable and the system parameters yeah Come on here. Let's write uh, what is B of S here. B of S is equal to B of S is equal to what we got ma? C of S into H of S. C of S into H of S. Let's take it as one. Let's take it as one. Now tell me, uh, I want uh, E of S. I want E of S. Come on. Why we want E of S? Why because C of S is equal to what ma? C of S is equal to E of S into G of S. Come on right here. C of S is equal to, come on, E of S into G of S. That's why we need E of S. Second one. Let's take this uh, equation two. Let's write E of S. What is E of S? That is very important. The, this is a point where most of the students will get confused. Very simple, ma. Whatever may be the summing point or comparator, irrespective of uh, in what shape it is and how it is, uh, 
all these things are very um, we, we can ignore directly see the output is of s how many inputs it is having what is happening in this one comparison means one plus one minus is there just uh, what are the inputs are there to that the summing point all those will be either added or subtracted some combination is going to take place depending on the sign now tell me what is the incoming rfs is one incoming what is another incoming another incoming is what mom p of s another incoming what p of s now r of s is having plus this r of s into plus one is how much r of s b of s into minus one is what minus p of s then what is e of s r of s minus b of s please do understand very carefully very simple see many people will get confused at this summing point that they will feel something is going to happen there nothing just uh, either addition or subtraction of the inputs that are present to this summing point or very simply i'll take one uh, simple example yeah this is a summing point mark i have four inputs like this this is uh, r1 of s another input r2 of s another input uh, r3 of s another yeah three inputs we have one output see the arrows see the arrows we have three inputs one output now output let's take uh, some uh, uh, h of s of course let's take it as h of s or h of, we should not take h of s because we are using h of s as system parameters so let's take it as a c of s only not a, not a matter now what is c of s c of s is equal to r1 of s plus symbol r2 of s r r2 of s minus r3 of s plus now tell me r1 of s come on man, minus r2 of s plus r3 of s yes these in this way we have to understand r1 minus r2 plus r3 that's it means whatever the inputs that are given to the summing point or computer that according to the signs that are present there it is going to add or subtract or combination of additions and subtractions and output will be the this combination so in this way we have to understand yes in this way we have to understand about the summing point now come on here c of s is equal to e of s into g of s we want e of s why because I want C of S by R of S. Why? Because our overall transfer function is what? Overall transfer function or simply transfer function is what? Uh, C of S by R of S. So C of S is equal to E of S into G of S. Let's write E of S. Come on, ma. E of S is equal to E of S is equal to come on, ma. R of S minus uh, B of S. Yes or no? R of S minus B of S. Now tell me E of S is equal to or uh, r of s minus what is b of s completely i want uh, in terms of uh, r c g and h i do not want e and b yeah what is transfer function transfer function is laplace transform of output means c of s by r of s and i want a transfer function always must be in terms of system parameters which are kept in blocks yes g of s and h of s so i'll replace that uh, uh, b of s what is b of s come on what is b of s we wrote b of s here that is c of s into h of s yes b of s is equal to c of s into h of s very simple now what is c of s previously we got c of s is equal to what ma e of s into g of s yes from equation 2 yes from equation 2 c of s is equal to what e of s into g of s come on here c of s is equal to what is e of s we got here itself r of s minus c of s into yes h of s into g of s into g of s simplify it yes c of s is equal to r of s into come on man g of s minus c of s into g of s into h of s take this entire c of s terms to this set term to this set c of s plus c of s into g of s into h of s is equal to r of s into g of s yes or not now let's take c of s common let's take c of s common so c of s if i take common one plus one plus yes g of s into h of s one plus g of s into h of s is equal to is equal to what we have this side r of s into g of s now we have only r c g and h what we want c by r or c of s by r of s now tell me what is transfer function now transfer function is equal to c of s by r of s yeah 
very simple get this r of s to this side yes we got the transfer function very simply yes we got it what is that g of s by come on ma 1 plus g of s into h of s we will write in the next page transfer function or overall transfer function i am writing here overall transfer function or simply transfer function or closed loop transfer function closed loop transfer function yeah there are many confusions in your mind i will remove all the confusions closed loop transfer function is equal to c of s by r of s is equal to come on ma what we got g of s by 1 plus g of s into h of s this is what we got g of s by 1 plus g of s into h of s observe it carefully now yeah here uh, previously i told uh, that yeah first let, let me uh, represent this one then we go back there and then we go back to there yeah now we taken this one observe here carefully now we taken this one plus minus yes this is g this is h yes g and h come on this is r this is c i am not writing the off s off s always yeah by default it will be off s i am not writing now this is what we taken this one can be equivalently represented like this yes or not yeah g by 1 plus g h yeah so this one i'm i'm not writing uh of s g by 1 plus g h this is r this is c yeah transfer function of this one is what g by 1 plus g h tell, tell me what is c by r c by r this into this is equal to this r into g by 1 plus g h is equal to c c by r is equal to what g by 1 plus g h this one transfer function is what g by 1 plus g h both the transfer functions are same yes just uh, the same can be represented in this way if you look at this one is there any feedback that is visible to you no can you say that it is open loop system can you say that it is open loop system no we can't say it is a it is a simplified representation of this closed loop system see two systems are said to be equivalent i'm not saying equal equivalent if their transfer functions are same suppose you have system a and system b both are giving the same transfer function from transfer function what we are going to get output for the same input uh, uh, if both are having same transfer function output will be same then i can say that both the systems are equivalent what my point here is here feedback is not visible to you but it does not mean to say that it is not having feedback it is having feedback yes it's a simplified version we are showing here yes this is a closed loop system this transfer function belongs to a closed loop control system in the examination if the examiner mentions as the given transfer function belongs to your open loop system then we take it as open loop system transfer function otherwise we always take it as closed loop system transfer function and the given system as closed loop system yes i'll repeat the statement see by looking at uh, the figure yes sir simply well, let's take the value of g as 1 and h as 1 how much are going to get a 1 by 1 plus 1 will be 1 by 2.5 transfer function is equal to 0.5 suppose say or uh, g is equal to s h is equal to 1 what is the transfer function s by s plus 1 s by s plus 1 s or not by looking at the transfer function s by s plus 1 we are not in a position to say whether it is having feedback or not yes or not if this type of structure is given then only we are able to recognize whether it is having feedback or not if i simplify this one what i what i got i got in this way why i drawn in this way yeah this transfer function this transfer function both are same and this is looking very simple when compared to this one that's why we drawn this way the simplified version of this one is that one but uh, it is looking in this way it does not mean to say it is not having feedback it is having feedback we simplified it we represented in a very simplified manner the point here is we can't recognize the feedback uh, that whether feedback is there or not there by just looking at the transfer function that's why examiner will mention very clearly whether the given system is open loop control system or closed loop control system fine open loop control system or closed loop control system now 
we taken previously one open loop control system yeah which is not having feedback we taken only controller and system yeah in the, the starting pages yes let me show you yeah this is an open loop control system this is an open loop control system its transfer function is called as open loop trans open loop control system transfer function open loop control system transfer function or gfs is the transfer function of the given open loop control system now here we got uh, we changed some nomenclature here if you observe yeah slightly there will be confusion try to understand clearly then you do not have confusion now come on here this is the closed loop control system its transfer function what is the transfer function we got for this one g by 1 plus g h g by 1 plus g h is called as closed loop system transfer function or closed loop transfer function let me write here yeah in two minutes all your confusion will be removed yes i'm writing here we wrote e of s unnecessarily here in the next page not required we solved it yes let, let's arrange here let's arrange here e of s is not required here we wrote unnecessarily come on i'm writing here g i'm writing here observe carefully man. transfer function is equal to g by 1 plus g h is the transfer function of closed loop closed loop come on man. closed loop control system closed loop control system yeah the control system what we taken is a closed loop control system and it is also called as it is also called as yes yes closed loop closed loop transfer function closed loop transfer function yeah come on here i'll be underlying this uh, closed loop transfer function but yeah let me write that statement also then we'll compare yeah open loop control system yeah in the starting we take an open loop control system without having any feedback open loop control system transfer function transfer function is not called as yes is not called as open loop transfer function open loop transfer function yes yes very clear here point we taken a closed loop control system its overall transfer function is called as closed loop transfer function or transfer function of a closed loop system both are same but the transfer function of open loop control system is not called as open loop transfer function open loop transfer function definition is somewhat different open loop transfer function definition is somewhat different we are going to i'll show you i'll show you let's take the diagram once again let's take the diagram once again come on here and take the diagram yes this is plus this is a minus yes this is a g of s this is g of s come on and this is come on ma here this is h of s observe here this is c of s this is c of s and this is r of s yes this is what we taken this is what we taken observe here this is what we taken this is what closed loop control system yeah let me write it on the top closed loop control system this is closed loop control system i'm writing as c dot s control system now what is its a closed loop transfer function now onwards we write it as c l t f closed loop transfer function in bracket i'll be writing dots are not required we'll write it directly closed loop transfer function transfer function we write as c l t f is equal to what we got ma g by 1 plus g h if i ask what is the open loop transfer function please understand 
I am not asking about open loop control system transfer function for this system only. Yeah, the first point what we have to understand here is a closed loop control system is going to have two transfer functions. Yes, if you go to open loop control system, it is having only one transfer function that is its transfer function that is called as open loop control system transfer function. But if you take a closed loop control system, it is going to have two transfer functions. One is closed loop transfer function. It is also called as closed loop control system transfer function. It is also going to have open loop transfer function. Yes. Open loop transfer function or it is also called as or it is also called as loop transfer function or it is also called as what ma? loop transfer function sometimes the examiner will not mention that word open open loop or loop both are same loop transfer function transfer function is equal to is equal to many people will say that sir it is g of s no what they will say is sir you are saying uh, from english meaning what we understood is open loop means uh, this feedback has to be removed if the feedback is removed, that is G of S. No, it is the product of what we have in the forward path and what we have in the feedback path. I'm writing here first in terms of words. Let me write in terms of words. Uh, product of uh, product of of forward path transfer function forward path transfer function with yes with feedback path transfer function with uh, come on ma feedback feedback path path transfer function whatever that is there in the forward path you multiply all those take it one forward path transfer function whatever that is there in the feedback uh, multiply all those and get one feedback path transfer function both you multiply what is there in the forward path uh, that is g of s what is there in the feedback path that is h of s g of s into h of s is called as open loop or loop transfer function if you i'll write it as OATF. if you follow english meaning open means what students will say remove this feedback if your feedback is removed what you are going to left with only g of s no it's not correct open loop or loop transfer function means the product of forward path transfer function with the feedback path transfer function that's why we wrote previously see open loop control system transfer function is what g of s yes what is open loop control system we taken here yeah in the yeah i will show here what is a yes g of s yes only g of s this is open loop control system no feedback this for this one no feedback means elevator we designed only with the controller and system wow well, the, both those product we taken g1 of s into g2 of s we got only g of s but its transfer function is what g of s but what is the open loop transfer function? What is the open loop transfer function of this closed loop system? Yeah, I wrote here open loop control system transfer function is not called as open loop transfer function. What is open loop control system transfer function? Open loop control system transfer function. What we got the open loop control system transfer function is G of S. What is the open loop transfer function or loop transfer function? Yes, G of S into H of S. Open loop or loop transfer function is defined only for closed loop system. Yes. Open loop control system is going to have only one transfer function that is called as open loop control system transfer function. Whereas closed loop control system is going to have two transfer functions. One is closed loop transfer function or overall transfer function or transfer function of that closed loop control system. And one more is open loop or loop transfer function. Yes, open loop or open loop or loop transfer function. I am underlying this loop, loop transfer function. This is defined only for closed loop control system. That is what G of S into H of S. Let's take one simple example and execute. Then we will be understanding. Yes, I will be giving like this. Yes, and two more things in feedback. Yes, this is C of S, this is R of S. Sometimes, if you want, we can represent this one as R of T, that one as C of T. No problem. 
but the things which are in blocks uh, must be in s domain why because we are able to keep in box after converting to s domain then only we can multiply these two if uh, we are representing in time domain then both should be convoluted i am writing this one as i am writing this one as some g1 of s or y g1 of s g2 of s let's take some functions itself yeah 1 by s plus 1 this is 1 by s plus 2 so this is s plus 3 this is s plus uh, 4 now let's write all possibilities here let's write all possibilities here come on uh. first one is first one is what is a forward path transfer function let me write here what is forward path transfer function forward path transfer function tell me in forward path what we have we have 1 by s plus 1 and 1 by s plus 2 we know that a two block blocks contained in cascade will be directly multiplied what is that 1 by s plus 1 into s plus 2 1 by s plus 1 into s plus 2 what is feedback path transfer function feedback path come on man. come on here feedback path transfer function is equal to what uh, s plus 3 into s plus 4 s plus 3 into s plus 4 what is open loop transfer function or loop transfer function yes let's write in the next page what is come on one open loop transfer function or loop transfer function that is equal to what man forward path transfer function into come on you have to answer forward path transfer function multiplied with come on man feedback path feedback path yes transfer function what is forward path transfer function 1 by s plus 1 into s plus 2 what is feedback path transfer function s plus 3 into s plus 4 now oltf or ltf what does it mean by oltf ma? open loop transfer function what does it mean by ltf loop transfer function that is what forward path transfer function into feedback path transfer function that is what ma? s plus 3 into s plus 4 by s plus 1 into s plus 2 s plus 1 into s plus 2 now tell me what is transfer function transfer function is what by default closed loop transfer function let me write that note point first then after that we will find note by default note by default by default if not mentioned if not mentioned if not mentioned by default always always the given transfer function is the given yes transfer function is closed loop transfer function yeah simply he will say transfer function means that is closed loop transfer function if it is open loop transfer function the examiner will mention very clearly saying that open loop transfer function or loop transfer function example example i'm writing transfer function is equal to 1 by s plus 1 what this will be this is yes sir not mentioned it is closed loop transfer function example one this is let me take example two oltf is equal to or ltf is equal to 1 by s plus 2 now this is open loop transfer function if it is open loop transfer function examiner will mention very clearly if it is closed loop transfer function you won't mention it as closed loop he will just say it as transfer function but by default we need to understand that one as closed loop transfer function let's find the closed loop transfer function of the previous example what is that closed loop transfer function is equal to g of s by come on ma 1 plus g of s into h of s what is g of s fall path transfer function what is that 1 by s plus 1 into s plus 2 by 1 plus what is g of s into h of s we multiplied yes s plus 3 into s plus 4 by s plus 1 into s plus 2 if you simplify it uh, we are going to get it as a closed loop transfer function is equal to 1 by let me write clearly yes uh, 1 by we are going to get it as 1 by 
s plus 1 into s plus 2 plus s plus 3 into s plus 4. What is the characteristic equation ma? s plus 1 into s plus 2 plus s plus 3 into s plus 4 equal to 0. If you solve this equation and you are going to get, get the values of s, those values if you plot in s-plane, those are called as closed loop poles. Yes, uh, one very important thing I want to write here. Yeah, let me write uh, one example here. Yeah, we found the closed loop transfer function and open loop transfer function of the closed loop uh, system. This is closed loop transfer function. See, roots of uh, see, roots of characteristic equation are closed loop poles. Yes, let me write clearly here. Closed loop poles. Let me take one good example, one good simple example. Yes. Let me take one good simple example. Yeah. Or uh, before going to the example, let's write the note points. Let's write the note points. Yes. Note. The first point is. Let me take the first point. Poles and zeros of open loop transfer function are called as are called as yes open loop poles open loop poles and open loop uh, zeros open loop zeros yes if you take a open loop transfer function do not get confused open loop transfer function belongs to a closed loop system not open loop control system open loop control systems are ruled out we are completely talking about a closed loop control system we have a closed loop control system in that if you take forward path transfer function and feedback path transfer function both you multiply then the resultant transfer function is called as open loop or loop transfer function that for i am talking about that one poles and zeros of open loop transfer function are called as open loop poles and open loop zeros yes poles and zeros zeros of closed loop transfer function are called as are called as come on man closed loop poles closed loop poles and come on closed loop uh, zeros closed loop poles and closed loop zeros yes and one important point i want to discuss here yes Sir, denominator of a transfer function is called as a characteristic polynomial. If that is made equal to zero, it is called as characteristic equation. This privilege is only there for closed loop transfer function. Yes, means if you take open loop transfer function, its denominator is made equal to zero. That is not called as characteristic equation now because it is not giving the system poles. It is giving open loop open loop transfer function poles. That's it. What is system? Complete transfer function. Complete transfer function. That's why. Come on here. Complete transfer function or overall transfer function will define the system. Okay, that's why the denominator of closed loop transfer function only called as characteristic polynomial. Yeah, the denominator, the denominator equation of closed loop transfer function is only called as called as what? characteristic equation open loop transfer function denominator is not called as characteristic equation yes come on let us take some examples let us take some examples here yeah. yeah come on open loop transfer function of a system or uh, let's uh, solve few more things then we go for examples ma. otherwise you'll get confused yeah we are done with uh, uh, transfer function, closed loop transfer function, and open loop transfer function of a closed loop system. But what feedback we take and we take and what feedback observe negative feedback or positive feedback? We take in negative feedback. We are going to generalize few things. We take in negative feedback here. If it is positive feedback, what happens? Let us see. If it is positive feedback, what happens? Let us see. And after that, we will generalize. After that, we are going to see unity feedback. After that, we are going to see unity feedback. Come on here. Generalize a transfer function. Yes. 
generalize transfer function means uh, what does it mean by generalization uh, if anything we require uh, we are going to compare with this one or in this way we are going to model any transfer function or any system is given not transfer function please if any system is given that system we are going to model in this way we are going to model in this way we will take both positive and negative feedbacks at a time in bracket uh, non unity feedback non unity feedback what does it mean by non unity feedback that is uh, h of s is not equal to 1 yeah uh, in the feedback what we have h of s right that h of s equal to 1 then that system is called as unity feedback system if that h of s is not equal to 1 that is called as non unity feedback uh, system equal to 1 unity feedback not equal to 1 non unity feedback yes come on here we are taking here simple way of analysis plus yeah yeah come on here negative feedback first let's take negative feedback let's first take we already did with this yes this is g of s come on ma yes this is what h of s this is h of s come on. understand here c of s this is r of s c of s and r of s what we got here here first first let's write about negative feedback First, let's write about negative feedback. Yeah, negative feedback. For negative feedback, we did it. Negative feedback validated. Negative feedback validated. Oh, yeah, minus. If minus is there here, negative feedback. Come on. Uh, what is transfer function? Transfer function. First of all, let's write a OLTF. OLTF. What is OLTF? OLTF is nothing to do with the feedback. What are there in the forward path? What are there in the feedback path? You multiply OLTF that is LTF equal to what? G of S into H of S. G of S into H of S. Let me put this in the box. Yes. And what is the overall transfer function we got? What is the overall transfer function we got? Uh, let me write here CLTF or transfer function simply is equal to how much we got now? g of s by come on now 1 plus g of s into h of s how we got this one how we got this one we'll do it once again we'll do it once again why because we negative feedback we already did for positive feedback we have to do once again therefore first let's do negative feedback then we implement positive feedback okay let's make this one as e of s you know in fact that is called as a actuating error what does it mean by activating error? all those things we will be understanding later in the in the error analysis study state of analysis topic yes so let's uh, derive it once again we did it already so we want a transfer function that is equal to c of s by r of s in what way we did c of s is equal to simply e of s into g of s algebra yes multiplications divisions additions and subtractions this is c of s we know very well this is also c of s so c of s this signal is equal to incoming into that box what that is there in the box yes what that is there in the box is called as gain yes g of s is gain well, whose gain it is that forward path whatever it is there i told you that transfer function is also called as gain whatever that is there in the forward path it's gain h of s is also gain whatever that is there in the feedback path that way h of s is the gain of that feedback path okay what is overall gain if i say overall gain it is transfer function or closely transfer function come on what is e of s e of s is equal to come on r of s minus of b of f y minus why because we take in here negative feedback we take in their negative feedback yes sir now c of s is equal to e of s is what r of s minus of b of s into g of s now tell me what is what is b of s c of s is equal to come on r of s minus b of s what is b of s come on we can write very easily that in itself b of s b of s is what ma c of s into h of s yes come on why i am doing it once again so that you are going to understand it once again yes b of s is what c of s into h of s please very simple c of s into h of s this is c of s into h of s into g of s simplify it 
if you simplify it, we are going to get like this c of s by r of s or let's write one more step prior to this from simplification step step c of s is equal to I'm simplifying it r of s into g of s yes minus c of s into h of s into g of s c of s into h of s into g of s now if i take c of s to this side what we got 1 plus g of s into h of s is equal to r of s into g of s now let's take c of s by r of s this side c of s by r of s let's take in another side yes c of s by r of s is equal to come on now, g of s by 1 plus g of s into h of s this way we call now oh, imagine if we are taking negative positive feedback for positive feedback yes negative feedback means minus is a symbol yes here minus is there for positive feedback yes i am writing here for positive feedback positive feedback positive come on positive feedback in bracket yes what we have to keep uh, plus we have to keep here here what i have to keep uh, plus yes positive feedback we taken now what happens let us see all the equations will change from where the equations will change from e of s onwards transfer function is equal to c of s by r of s okay b of s is equal to c of s into h of s that also will not change where the only change is going to take place at e of s now tell me what is e of s e of s is not now ignore this minus what we have plus here now we are under positive feedback case not negative feedback case minus is ignored plus a plus a. therefore e of s is what r of s plus a b of s that's very important to understand yes ma what is that r of s plus a b of s let's derive positive feedback or in here only we are going to make the changes then we are going to write the transfer function directly now what happens uh, here we are going to get plus yes positive feedback here plus here plus here plus yes let's take different uh, color yes come on huh? it is plus but here it will be minus yeah plus will change to minus minus will change to plus and because this side plus this side comes to minus now here it is going to be minus come on here directly we can write uh, positive negative feedback let's write negative feedback first negative feedback yes negative feedback transfer function is equal to f by b is feedback okay transfer function is equal to what we got g of s by 1 plus g of s into h of s what is the characteristic equation 1 plus g of s into h of s equal to 0 now let me write positive feedback yes positive feedback control system transfer function is equal to what we get uh, g of s by come on ma 1 minus g of s into h of s now what is the characteristic equation ma? 1 minus g of s into h of s is equal to 0 so this is about negative feedback and positive feedback you have to remember that g of s by 1 plus g of s into h of s is a generalized transfer function of a negative feedback control system g of s by 1 minus g of s into h of s is the transfer function means what closed loop transfer function or overall transfer function or overall gain of a generalized positive feedback control system what is the oltf what is the oltf of this one what is its oltf its oltf is equal to g of s into h of s yeah, what is its oltf that is also come on man g of s into h of s this is nothing to do with the feedback what feedback we taken we are done with uh, non unity feedback control system our heading is a unity feedback control system generalized transfer function of generalized transfer function of of not or please of of unity feedback unity feedback system what does it mean by unity feedback h of s is equal to 1 yes in bracket i am writing h of s is equal to 1 
when we go for unity feedback control system when there is no requirement of transducer if input and output both are electrical for example one example i am saying okay please do not say that always it is going to be uh, if a input is electrical output is also electrical there is no need of converting from electrical to uh, electrical both are electrical therefore no need of uh, anything in the any transducer in the feedback therefore directly we can connect uh, let me draw the figure let me draw the figure but yes this will be the figure simply to the previous one just you put h of s is equal to 1 g of s and need not to keep anything yes this is c of s this is c of s we are not keeping anything here that's it if you want sir i'll put a box i'll put a one in the box no issues you can put sometimes in examination the examiner will mention one like this see in three ways nothing you mention or or put a box yes put a box like this and you put one or directly yes directly you put like this put one here that's it or you don't put even one not a matter it is called as unity feedback control system r of s that is c of s this is e of yes what is the signal b of s what is this one this is c of s this is also c of s uh, shall we derive no need ma in the previous one wherever h of s is there you will replace with one or sir no sir i will solve i will solve therefore i will learn I will solve therefore I will learn not a matter within two steps I am going to direct within two or three steps I am going to direct come on up there here I am going to direct uh, I want uh, C of S is equal to E of S what is E of S R of S minus B of S but what is B of S C of S so R of S minus C of S into G of S is C of S this C of S is equal to this G of S into E of S G of S into E of S what is E of S R of S minus as I take a negative feedback uh, as I take a negative feedback, R of S minus B of S. But what is B of S? C of S. Why? Because H of S is equal to 1. What is B of S? C of S into H of S. Now simplify this one. You are going to get a transfer function. Yeah. Let me write here. Let me write here. Transfer function means what? Uh, closed loop transfer function is equal to, come on, C of S by R of S is equal to what you got? Uh, G of S by 1 plus uh, G of S. Tell me one thing. What is its OLT of ma? OLTF is equal to what? G of S into H of S that is equal to G of S. Yes or no? Yes. Now, sir, for, this is for what feedback? For negative feedback. Sir, if it is positive feedback, what is the answer? For positive feedback, transfer function is equal to C of S by R of S is equal to come on, G of S by 1 minus G of S is the transfer function in bracket for positive feedback or positive feedback let me write here clearly let me write here clearly for negative feedback for negative feedback cldf is equal to transfer function is equal to closed loop transfer function and transfer function both are same is equal to come on now, g of s by 1 plus g of s what is oldf Irrespective of feedback, OLTF is equal to what? Uh, G of S. Observe here, one thing is uh, clear for us. I can replace uh, G of S with OLTF. I can write OLTF in terms of completely, CLTF in terms of completely OLTF. Observe here. Yeah, simple thing we are going to do. CLTF is equal to what is G of S? G of S is OLTF. OLTF by, yes. 1 plus OLTF. Sir, this possibility is not there for non unity feedback. Yes, this possibility is not there for non unity feedback. Why this possibility is not there for non unity feedback? This can be written as OLTF. Yes, this is OLTF, but this is not OLTF. That's why we are not in a position to represent transfer function. In fact, the closed loop transfer function is equal to. We are not in a position to represent CLTF in terms of completely OLTF for a non-unity feedback system. But for a unity feedback system, but for a unity feedback system, observe unity feedback system, H of S is equal to 1. OLTF is G of S. Numerator is G of S, denominator is also 1 plus G of S. I can replace. So this is one of the very, very, very important identity required for us in solving problem. But this is applicable only for unity feedback system that to positive feedback and negative feedback negative feedback system sir if it is positive feedback for positive feedback let me take the heading for positive feedback for 
positive feedback system. Ah, come on, man. what is CLTF? CLTF is equal to what? G of S by 1 minus G of S. I can write it as, come on here, you, you have to tell G of S is what? OLTF by 1 minus OLTF. Let me write it in the next page clearly. Yes, let me write. CLTF is equal to OLTF by, yes, 1 plus OLTF. Yes, for negative feedback or positive feedback? For negative feedback. Come on. Uh, in the next page, I will write. In the next page, I will write. Yeah, why we are writing in different pages? Let me tell you. CLTF is equal to OLTF by 1 minus OLTF. Let me take the heading here for, come on, ma, for positive feedback. For positive feedback. Here, this one, ma, this one, come on, for, for negative feedback. Yes. Why you wrote, why we wrote uh, in two different pages? Let me find few more things. Let me find few more things. Come on. Now segregate this one, what we are going to get. OLTF is equal to CLTF into, yes, 1 plus OLTF. 1 plus OLTF, yes. OLTF is equal to CLTF plus CLTF into, yes, OLTF. So get that this OLTF term completely this side. Why? Here CLTF is in terms of OLTF. I want to write OLTF in terms of CLTF. Get this side. So OLTF minus, come on, CLTF into, yes, OLTF is equal to CLTF. Take this OLTF common. OLTF 1 minus CLTF is equal to CLTF. Now let's write OLTF in terms of CLTF. OLTF in terms of CLTF is what? CLTF by 1 minus CLTF. This is for negative feedback or positive feedback? Huh? Negative feedback, we are under negative feedback. Observe here, we are in negative feedback. Yes, we are in negative feedback. Observe. From this one we derive, from this one we derive. Yes, observe. Yes. I can say from this one you get that one, from that we can get this one. Yes. For negative feedback, closed loop transfer function is equal to open loop transfer function by 1 plus open loop transfer function. And uh, what is uh, after simplification? OLTF in terms of CLTF. OLTF is equal to what? CLTF by 1 minus uh, CLTF. Can you guess for positive feedback? This is having minus. Therefore, this will be plus. You can simplify if you want. You can simplify if you want. This is having minus. If you say you're going to get plus. That's it. Yeah. Let me do it. For your purpose only I'm doing. Otherwise, I, I can directly write. It is very simple. CLTF into 1 minus OLTF. Yes. OLTF is equal to CLTF minus CLTF. Yes. Into OLTF. Yes. Take this one to this side. OLTF plus CLTF into yes, OLTF is equal to what mark? CLTF. Yes. Take OLTF common. OLTF common, if you take what you have, 1 plus CLTF is equal to common mark? CLTF. Then what we are going to get? OLTF is equal to OLTF is equal to yes, CLTF by. CLTF by 1 plus CLTF. This and this both belong to what feedback? Uh, positive feedback. Yes. From this one, you get that one. From that one, you can get this one. But these formulas are applicable only for unity feedback. Yes, in fact, that I have to write. Yes, uh, unity feedback. Unity feedback. I forgot to mention positive feedback. And then again, unity feedback. Here. Positive feedback, in bracket, unity feedback, yes, 
UD feedback, it must be negative feedback along with the UD feedback, then only these are valid. We have number of problems on these uh, topic. That is, uh, now if OLTF is given, how to find CLTF for a positive feedback or a negative feedback? If CLTF is given, how to find a OLTF for positive feedback and negative feedback? We have number of previous great problems on this topic. Uh, so with this one, we are done with the generalized representation of a transfer function, open loop transfer function, closed loop transfer function. Okay, open loop control system transfer function and closed loop control system transfer function. You should not get confused. Open loop poles and closed loop poles. Open loop transfer function poles are called as open loop poles. Closed loop transfer function poles are called as closed loop poles. Characteristic equation is the equation of closed loop transfer function denominator only, but not open loop transfer function denominator equal to zero is not called as closed. Characteristic equation y means closed loop system denominator make equal to zero is going to give system poles. On if if I know system poles, I will be able to know the behavior of the system. But if I know open loop poles, uh, I am not in a position to find a system behavior. That's why characteristic equation is is uh, denominator of closed loop transfer function, but not open loop transfer function. So further, we are going to understand uh, why characteristic equation is only taken the denominator of closed loop transfer function. All these things further we are going to discuss. So with this one we are done with. Uh, now, most of the basics in first chapter, further we are left with many things in first chapter, uh, mostly we are done, 80% of the first chapter is done, 20% uh, is left, that is uh, one very important topic in first chapter we are left with is uh, sensitivity, before we go to sensitivity, we have to discuss order once again, we discussed the order, order as number of uh, independent and just storage elements, but after finding poles and zeros, uh, I told you that we will be discussing order once again after completion of that we are going to see many problems on this uh, what do you call uh, open loop to close loop close to open loop and for a unity feedback system for a non unity feedback system and all these things are going to see and one important point uh, i want to tell you that is uh, two systems are said to be equivalent if their transfer functions are equal yeah, i have two systems say some a and system b these systems are said to be equivalent if these two transfer these two systems transfer functions are same okay and how to convert uh, a non unity feedback system to unity feedback system. Let us say converting from a unity feedback, non unity feedback system system to unity feedback system. Converting very simple, please. Just the algebra, just algebra, block diagram algebra. Converting a non unity feedback system feedback system to unity unity feedback system yeah people will misunderstand like this sir if you want to convert from non unity to unity feedback remove that hfs make in the, in the place of hfs is equal to one no whatever the operation you do the overall transfer function of the system should not change yes remember this point if I ask you to simplify this one, how much you have to put here too? It does not mean to say that, sir, I don't like this. Uh, means I want only numerator, I don't want denominator. This is equal to 4, I remove 2. This is correct? No, no, this is not correct. Simplification means its original value should not change. For a block diagram or for a transfer function, whatever you do, finally the transfer function should remain same. Now, I have non unity feedback system here non unity feedback system here let me take here let me take here yes non unity feedback system non unity sorry non unity feedback system i have to take here yes come on non unity feedback system i'm taking here observe this is non unity feedback system plus minus this is g of s yes this is h of s yes one important point i told you that is uh, overall transfer function should not change after the simplification what i want i want to convert this one from non unity feedback to unity feedback but uh, with no change in the transfer function means in bracket transfer function should not change should remain same should remain same in both that is our condition otherwise what we did is come absolutely wrong yes 
what is unity feedback system how unity feedback system works unity feedback system how it looks how unity feedback system looks come on let me show how unity feedback system looks come on that looks like this plus minus we are taking negative feedback here something i have to keep here some l of s i told you i told yes c of s this is r of s why that is l of s why not g of s if i keep that g of s what is this transfer function g by 1 plus g what is this transfer function g by 1 plus g h we changed it it should not change what is transfer function here transfer function 1 i call what is this from now onwards we are not going to derive we directly write g by 1 plus g h this is 1 this is 1 let's remove one here keep there one ah what is transfer function here what is transfer function here transfer function is equal to come on ma l by 1 plus l yeah sir how you wrote g by 1 plus g h g by 1 plus g h is the standard in place of g what we have l why we kept l if i put directly g this is g by 1 plus g this is g by 1 plus g h both are not equal i want both transfer function should be same representation to change from unity feedback non unity feedback to unity feedback now what we want one must be equal to two one must be equal to two yes one equal to two that is what are g by 1 plus g h is equal to l by 1 plus l simplified g plus l g is equal to l plus l g h take l that side that is equal to l plus l g h minus l g take l common what is that 1 plus g h minus g is equal to g what we got l is equal to ah, g by 1 plus g h minus g if this much you are going to keep here in place of l s then you are going to get this transfer function this transfer function both are same but here this is non unity feedback system is converted to unity feedback so in this way see whatever the operation you do transfer function should not change keep that in mind we converted a non unity feedback system into unity feedback system that's it that much simple it is that much simple it is now let us uh, see about uh, one of the very important thing that is impulse response once impulse response is done impulse response step response time response is done we are going to see all the problems uh, associated with this uh, 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 open loop transfer function closed loop transfer function for unity feedback non unity feedback uh, oltf sub cltf cltf oltf conversion what not everything we are going to see the last topic in this chapter is a uh, sensitivity and we have to discuss about uh, partially about order also to the most of the extent we discussed about order partially we are left with few more things in order system order okay one of the very 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 important uh, discussions impulse response impulse response so i am keeping the heading here impulse response yes impulse response yeah understand the heading first understand the heading first impulse response response means what output Come on, man. Response means what? Output. When we got that response, when impulse is the input, when impulse is the input, then the obtained response is called as impulse response. I'm writing in bracket. Suppose, see, by looking at the heading, we are able to know that the input is impulse. Input is what, ma? Impulse. Yes. The response obtained. The response. Obtain, obtain for yes impulse input for impulse input is called as yes is called as impulse response please do remember understand in this way suppose if i call step response the first part what we have to understand is our input is step if i say ramp response the first point you have to understand is input is ramp. Parabolic response, input is parabolic. Exponential response, input is exponential. So in that way, you have to understand. Now come on, just after looking at that heading, what is R of A? R of A is equal to A del of A. If it is unit impulse, A is equal to 1. If it is unit impulse, A equal to 1. We know, we discussed very clearly, R of A is equal to A del of T. Yes, sir. For a system, if I am going to use impulse as an input, let us see what is the response i'm going to get i'm taking this system yeah here this is time domain this is frequency domain yeah 
yes in both the domains will be we'll see okay come on pick pencil domain and time domain come on now here i am taking the system i am taking the system some system whose system response is h of t every system is going to have its own response called as h of t in the previous class if you remember i told you that impulse response and step system response both are same i told you system response and impulse response both are same i told you i am going to prove that here yeah what we are giving as input is r of t and what we are going to get the output as a c of t same thing if i convert into s domain same thing if i convert into s domain come on h of t will become what now h of s r of t will become what now r of s c of t will become what now c of s c of t will become c of s now tell me if r of t is equal to here l of t what is r of s dear what is r of s laplace transform of r of t in the starting class is very clearly we understood about the laplace and inverse laplace is del of t laplace is one here del of t is here that's it now tell me what is c of t c of t come on ma r of t yes in convolution with a h of t in convolution with a h of t yes or not yes we saw already yes now come on here c of t is r of t in convolution with a h of t come on yeah what is r of t c of t is equal to come on r of t is what a del of t in convolution with h of t let's take new impulse response let's take new impulse response that is easy for us not easy i'll tell you why we take a new impulse response uh, new impulse response here let me write the heading unit unit in fact what are we take we are going to get the same answer transfer function as h of s only so i have to prove that but uh, you let me take new impulse response that will be easy for us to understand for student later i'll be extending to complete impulse response unit impulse response okay now what is this one r of t is equal to a del of t is what a, a del of t is a uh, this is one therefore r of s is what ma r of s is equal to how much r of s is equal to 1 r of s is equal to 1 come on come on here all of you observe carefully this i am erasing here yes come on i want this one how to calculate this one we know convolution integral expansion c of t is equal to what is del of t dear del of t yeah what is the convolution integral expansion integral 0 to tau yes del of uh, tau into h of uh, t minus tau d tau yes we are doing the integration with respect to tau now tell me del of tau is the signal which is existing only at a tau is equal to 0 now these two multiplication must be done in the common region right uh, if this is existing at tau is equal to 0 in this one also i have to put that tau is equal to 0 then what i am left with what i am left with let me write here yeah c of t is equal to come on integral 0 to tau del of tau yes this is existing only at tau is equal to 0 into h of t only we are left with why not at tau sir this exist only at a tau is equal to 0 therefore i have to take this one at a tau is equal to 0 if i substitute tau is equal to 0 what i got h of t get that h of t this side why h of t this side h of t is a constant why because our variable is tau we are integrating with respect to tau integral 0 to tau yes come on what del of tau d tau how much is this uh, integral 0 to 2 0 to tau del of tau d tau yes we know it very well that this integral is 1 this integral is 1 then what we got uh, c of t is equal to yes h of t output of the system for unit impulse input if it is impulse input how much we might got uh, a into h of t a into h of t not to have that confusion i removed that uh, in, impulse and i kept a uh, unit impulse a equal to 1 the unit impulse response of a system is equal to system response what are what is the system response h of t the same thing i got output for unit impulse input equal to system response that's why im, unit impulse response is also called as system response or system response is called as unit impulse response come on let's go to frequency domain let's go to frequency domain come on here here 
R of S. What is R of S? R of S is equal to 1. R of S is equal to 1. Now, what is C of S? C of S is equal to R of S into H of S. Then what we got? C of S is equal to H of S. C of S is equal to H of S. Now, tell me. I want transfer function, boss. I want transfer function. Come on. What is transfer function? Transfer function is equal to output by input. Yes. What is the output ma? Output is what? C of S. What is C of S? H of S. What is R of S? 1. That is equal to H of S. Now, oh, one important point we have to understand here. One important point we have to understand here. If any one of you got the point, please uh, try to discuss with me. Yes. Here, this one is called as what? Unit impulse response. Yeah. C of t is equal to h of t is what uh, is the response of the system when unit impulse is given as input. Yes or not? Yes. C of t is equal to h of t is the response of the system when unit impulse is given as input. That's why it is called as what? Unit impulse response. Now, one of the very, very, very important note point for control systems is, uh, yeah, observe here. Clearly, these two note points are very, very, very important. Yes. First one. If I apply Laplace to this C of T, I am going to get a C of S, which is equal to H of S. Yes, this is unit impulse response. Laplace transform of unit, yes, impulse, come on, ma, impulse response, unit impulse response is equal to, yes, I will do it, I will do it, not just statements, I am going to prove everything, yes, equal to. Laplace transform of sorry, Laplace transform of what is unit impulse response? C of t we got C in the time domain. Laplace transform of what is that? H of t C of t is equal to H of t why? because uh, integration of zero to tau del of delta is equal to one year left with H of t is equal to what I got H of t s but that is nothing but what ma transfer function. Now two things I'm going to underline here this and this okay the remaining is a procedure what we did can i write can i write or let's remove this as one now let me write uh, the important statement uh, for our discussion or uh, the important output of our discussion that is uh, laplace transform of first not point laplace transform of yes unit yes unit impulse response unit come on man impulse response unit impulse response is equal to transfer function if you have unit impulse response with you if you apply laplace uh, then what you are going to get transfer function what is the vice versa inverse laplace of transfer function is equal to what ma unit come on impulse response Unit impulse response. Very, very, very important conclusions. Yes, I'm keeping three stars from these conclusions. We derived these two conclusions. We are not going to remember directly. We derived, we have proof uh, for those conclusions. Yes. Means uh, once uh, unit impulse response is there with you, you can find transfer function. Once you have transfer function, you can find unit impulse response, vice versa. Once I have transfer function, if it is a uh, Unity feedback system, I can find the OLTF. Transfer function means by default CLTF. See, I'll tell you a few points. You have a circuit, you obtain a transfer function from that circuit. Then you might, be you might be thinking, the transfer function what I obtained from that circuit is OLTF or CLTF? CLTF by default, CLTF. Until and unless the examiner mentions the given one as CLTF by default, always every transfer function we are going to take it as a CLTF. If it is OLTF, he will mention clearly. Yes, sir. Yeah, I will I'll, I'll repeat the statement. Until and unless examiner mentions, always every transfer function is CLTF. If it is OLTF, the examiner will clearly mention. Now, uh, I will I'll tell you a few more things. Uh, that is, uh, from a circuit, what the transfer function you obtain is CLTF. Suppose uh, you have unit impulse response from that one, you got uh, a transfer function by applying Laplace. That a transfer function is also CLTF. Uh, so when it comes, when the situation comes, I'm going to discuss many points like this, but because students will get confused between OLTF and CLTF, 
the how to how to handle with that i got a transfer function whether i have to take it as vltf or cltf at that point students will commit mistakes a lot of shortcuts also we are going to discuss and we are going to see the, the advantages of uh, negative feedback system negative feedback system is having a lot of advantages when compared to positive feedback system after the completion of sensitivity we are going to see advantages of uh, negative feedback over positive feedback positive feedback is having only one advantage in fact that is not even an advantage we are going to see okay so this is about impulse response if we have impulse response how to get step response if you have step response that from that one ramp and parabolic and vice versa if you have parabolic response how to get step response or impulse response all these things we are going to discuss in the upcoming sessions yeah with this one we are done with this uh, uh, this class in the upcoming sessions we are going to see uh, sensitivity and problems on these topics